celebrate Halloween with the Freaky Collection event in my team. Diamond Magic Johnson is your first collection reward. And he's available now, both as a special insert in the pack market and... And a look at the Knicks earlier on. Check out the focus. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Then it's MP. Then it's Barrett. And it's Grimes in at the two-guard spot. And for Orlando. Outside the wings are Suggs and Wagner. And Caro and Carter make up the inside pair. And it's Anthony in at the one. And every season you have teams, Greg, that start out hot only to falter separate the real from the rest Kevin that's a good question and, and one thing is what we call point differential doesn't just look at wins and losses but margins of victory and it can indicate who's really built to go the distance Anthony the pass to Suggs just five to shoot and it goes out of bounds that one off Robinson remains a And it's the magic with the ball. Wagner, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Here's New York. Now, here's MP. Coming off a stellar performance against Philadelphia. Just five on the clock. Floats it up for Randall. An emphatic LU jam. Randall getting up there explosive vertically on that play with great timing. Wagner outside. Here's Carter. It's rebounded by New York. Last time they met in New York. And the last time they were able to come away with that win because of their depth. Great production from the reserves. Probably looking for more of the same here. As we know, a deep bench so crucial to any team's success. And Carroll outside. Count it good. And he's going to be a consistent scorer when he can get those shots to fall. Defense has to do a better job against Ben Carroll inside. Now, here's MP. He's scoring at a rate that puts him at another level. As impossible as it seems, he's truly averaging about 36 points a game. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Well, they're still young, but the Magic, Greg, are becoming one of those league pass teams. Like, like people want to watch them. Yeah, I mean, they've got some players. Leaving aside any rooting interest on my part, they've got some young fellas that are definitely intriguing to watch. Here's Grimes. Jalen Suggs making his last shot. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Here's Ben Carroll. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And it's Robinson with the jam. A timing play, but it helps to have a leaper like Mitchell Robinson finish it off. Orlando trailing here. Now, Suggs, he gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Robinson with the block, and they're able to recover. Yeah, good job to take it right at the game. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. Now, getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. MP passes to Randall, and Randall throws it down. Running pick and roll to perfection. MP putting that pass right on the money. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Suggs with the ball. Last game he had 10 points. 
buries it down low. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. And now we have a moment to recognize the player of the week in the Eastern Conference, MP. Basketball is one of the few sports where good offense beats good defense, and nobody has had better offense than him lately. I don't think there is anybody in the league that could have slowed him down on offense. He was unstoppable, to say the least. Floats it up for Randall. The shot. No good. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He's just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. And Randall has got the ball here for the Knicks. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. Yeah, it is always a great feeling when you go the extra distance, double OT in this case, and are able to come away with that win. And that's how you execute the pick and roll. Randall slicing well after setting the screen. Good timing. The Magic trail by four. Here's Suggs. Pass to Carter. Bang Carroll trying to get open. And then Carter with the jam. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even at a power finish. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Orlando making some changes. Peterson's checked in. And it's Howard in for Jalen Suff. And New York with a change here, too. Brunson's checked in. Now, here's MP. And it's Robinson with the jam. Oh, that's a great setup by MP. This guy is as unselfish as they come. Magic have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Adner against Barrett to the middle. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. A nice shot by MP. And, and really keeping the ball, hopping around here offensively. And we have really watched Jalen Brunson come into his own, playing at a higher level. Well, it's unbelievable, Greg, that he just had that spark year in Dallas and that that is triggered what it is we get from Jalen Brunson on a nightly basis. Respected for his toughness, his offensive game is growing. And there's the drive, and MP throws it down. And, and cutting to the rim with assertiveness, MP has no problems taking charge. And here is Anthony. Nine points last game. The pass to Howard. Shot clock at six. No good on the three. The Knicks leading by six. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. Nice pass there to set that basket up. Orlando, they've gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Anthony kicks to Bancaro. Over Randall. Another miss by Orlando. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Here's Anthony. Following the basket by Julius Randle. Here's Ben Carroll. And he can't stop the run as he misses. For him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. 
Randall passes to MP. Floats it up for Randall. Up high to stop the alley -oop. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area, and just dominating, controlling that spot. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Now, here's MP. He's got 10. Down low. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. MP's got 12. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Passes it to Peterson. He kicks it to Howard. Here's Black, covered by MP. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet were set. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. And New York, looking at who they've got. Julius Randle is out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Then it's R.J. Barrett. Then it's M.P. And it's Grimes in at the two spot. And Anthony's got the ball here for the Magic. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys. M.P. in the last game against Philadelphia played some huge minutes. He finished with 49 points, and that was his highest output of the season. One of the great performances I've seen in all my years, and I really mean that. Back to you guys. David, we appreciate the update. Greg, we'll see if he can keep rolling here tonight. Yeah, and that's the rub. When he's in rhythm, he can carry your team across the line. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Now, here's Suggs. D right on him. Now the dish to Ban Carroll. Shoots. The Magic again can hit. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Here's MP in the corner. Finney Smith with it. Now here's MP. He's got 16. Six to shoot. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. And let's take a peek at the players contending for a spot in the dunk contest this year. Each and every one of these guys can do amazing things around the bucket. And they will. Uh, I guarantee you that we're going to see things in this year's contest that we've never seen before. Those fellas have some tricks up their sleeve for sure. You look at MP, and I know he'd like to make a move up in the consideration he's got all the athleticism you hope for from a dunk contest participant. He sure does. Lots of competition, though, in the running this year to get that big invite. So there you go. And as it's looking, this year's dunk contest is shaping up to be a fantastic competition. We'll keep you updated on the voting. No doubt it's going to be a good one, Kevin. We've got players on that list who'll do things that you didn't even think were possible. And it's Suggs missing. The Knicks leading by 17. Pass to MP. Randall kicks to MP. Always going up for the alley oop here. And finish off by Finney Smith. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king 
But no doubt that media pressure is for real. Anthony, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Anthony's got four this quarter. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Anthony against MP. Inside. And Randall throws it down. Now Randall right now going to town on the defense and taking over this game. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. You know, Brent, we know how intense NBA practices can get, but how often do tempers boil over? Well, practices are where you improve, and it's also a chance for guys who are on the bench to let the coaches know they're ready for more minutes. So that competitive environment is going to cause some dust-ups, and trust me, Kevin, you don't hear about most of the things that go on behind closed doors. Robinson's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Bancaro inside. Randall on him. Bancaro, that's good. Bancaro's got six. Yeah, and you know, with the fire Bancaro plays with, he may not even have felt the contact. MP against Anthony. MP passes to Grimes. It's stolen by Bancaro. And here we go with the magic fast break. And it's Orlando with another. And that's how you execute in transition. Love Ben Carroll's approach in those situations. Now, MP. He's got 16. Wants to get it to Robinson and us. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Here is Carter. Mitchell Robinson making his last shot. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Bobbed up there for Robinson and finished off by Robinson. Well, he's a physical big down low, and I think he expects this kind of traffic around him as Mitchell Robinson comes through. Now, here's Suggs. He's tightly guarded. For the three, Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got rebound number five here tonight. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. And Randall throws it down. Randall, aggressive, is going to help out this offense immensely. Suggs with the ball. Pass to Carter. At the top of the key, Suggs. Here's Bancaro. Drops it in from 11 feet. 10 points for Paolo Bancaro. And this is why Suggs was a top five pick. Jalen's got tremendous playmaking ability. Here's MP. 16 points for him. Lobbed up there for Robinson. Hammers the alley-oop through. Here are the Magic now. Anthony looking it over. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the rest of attention. Foul call. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Peterson's checked in. Howard comes in for Franz Wagner. Oubre is checked in for Jalen Suggs. And Black's subbed in for Cole Anthony. So it's Orlando now. The Knicks making the shot. And the pass to Black. Down to five on the shot clock. Yes, that goes in. Black's got seven points. Oof, that is a tough shot. And you know, Brent, most nights we see Grimes expend a ton of energy out there, and it is terrific. Yeah, he's asked to do a lot of different things, and he's got to provide that pop on the perimeter. 
And then he often draws the hardest defensive assignment at the other end. So this guy is becoming more complete. Here's Black. The Knicks making the shot. This is it to Peterson. Back to Black. Robinson with the block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for Orlando. Jonathan Isaac. Fires away from outside. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got six rebounds now in the game. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And that's a foul called on Kelly Oubre. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for New York. To the paint. Uh, giving his all on that play. MP working hard to win the whistle. This is his first free throw of the game. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Two shots. Both free throws good for MP. Well, not just a fantastic basketball player. MP also a great example for all the youngsters out there off the floor. Here's Black. He has seven. Pass to Peterson. Now here's Howard. Five to shoot. That does not fall. Still looking for his first basket after three shots. Hart the pass to MP. Hart kicks to MP. New York moving the ball around. A chance now to check out the Knicks' upcoming schedule. On Thursday, they'll go up against Russell Westbrook and the Indiana Pacers. And then on Monday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Philadelphia 76ers. And for that game against the Timberwolves, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. And the Knicks making a change here. Monks checked in. Oubre, good. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. MP inside. Working on black. Orlando's gone an even 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. Bounce pass, Isaac. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. Over Hart. Count that one from Isaac. Oubre will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes, and he doesn't make a mistake that time. There's the lob to Hart. And so it's MP making things happen for the Knicks. And of everything he's doing. The Knicks, 68. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. The forward spots, it's Wagner and Bancaro. The guard pair for them, Anthony and Suggs. And it's Carter in at the five. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Now here's Anthony. Carter looking around. From downtown, and Anthony with the basket on the assist by Carter. Anthony's got the first points of the second half here for the Magic. And here's Barrett. He has yet to score. MP against Anthony. And another assist for him. Dishing it all over the place in this one. He's tallying them up in bunches. 
chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, the, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And that's a foul called on Franz Wagner. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Grimes passes to MP. And Caro grabs the board. The Magic trail by 21. Going inside and finished off by Bancaro. And that's just some good old-fashioned bully ball from Bancaro. Just a physical force. Now, here's MP. 22 points for him. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. Now a look at the stats for Jalen Brunson. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Suggs kicks to Wagner. Now, here's Suggs. He's guarded closely. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got seven rebounds in the game. Randall with the bucket. Randall's got 23. Uh, making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Outside Anthony. Over MP. They get it back. Carter. And then Carter with the dunk. Bully ball at its finest there. Carter Jr. brings a physical presence to this team. Here's MP, and the dunk by MP. I love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Now, here's Suggs. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. It's not every player who can convert against defense that tight. Tip your cap to Carter for being able to finish without an inch of airspace. Here's Robinson. He's got 12 to the inside. And that one's good. MP. MP's got four points this quarter. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Pass to Wagner. Over Barrett. And it's Wagner missing. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Now, here's MP. He's got 26. And Randall throws it down. Yeah, it's strong, and it's athletic, and it's left-handed, so tough for guys to adjust to that. Randall, tough matchup. Suggs passes to Anthony. I got him, I got him! Driving inside. Count that one. Anthony's got 11 points. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate, and that's what it looked like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Now, here's MP. He's scoring at a rate that puts him at another level. As impossible as it seems, he's truly averaging about 36 points a game. Now, Anthony kicks to Suggs. Beyond the arc, Anthony can't hit. And so it's Rendell bringing it up now for New York. MP looking around. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And it's the Magic with the ball. Anthony, the pass to Carter. Back to Anthony. Shot clock at five. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Carter. 
And, and let's check out some stats. Here are the numbers for Randall. And don't forget, top 20 in the league in rebounds per game. He's got a great nose for the ball. And you mentioned it. He's the second best shooter in the league right now. Quick trigger with just a little bit better footwork. He could take over that top spot. Wagner's checked in for Wendell Carter. Lobbed up there for Robinson and finished off by Robinson. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing. But they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. Here's Suggs. Mitchell Robinson making his last shot. And it's Wagner missing. The Knicks have gone 9 of 10 on their attempts in the third quarter. That is 90% from the field. What a roll they're on. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And it's the Magic with the ball. Following the basket by MV. Suggs passes to Wagner. To stop the run. Kept alive. Here's Ben Kill. Oh, nice work on the offensive glass. Ben Carroll being rewarded for his efforts. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Wendell Carter Jr. didn't break through in his first stop with the Bulls, but he's become a cornerstone player with the Magic. What he says is, I've definitely tapped into a different side of myself. Defensively, being able to guard one through five, just continuing to go up from there and helping my team. Kevin? Good stuff, D.A., thank you. Here's MP, and MP throws it down. Talent on full display for MP. This guy's putting on a clinic. Anthony kicks to Ben Carroll. There's the lob to Ben Carroll. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And the timing and elevation executed to perfection by Ben Carroll. Nice finish. Greg, here he is, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Hello, Bancaro. And the top pick because he's a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro has a tremendous feel for the game. Great vision, passing it, and endless potential offensively. Now, here's MP. Jalen Suggs unable to get his last shot to go. Nice work from MP. Moving the rock, doing his best to keep his teammates involved. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Peterson's checked in. Isaac comes in for Bancaro. Howard's checked in for Franz Wagner. And Kelly Oubre subbed in for Suggs. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for the Knicks. Malik Monk comes in for Barrett. Now, here's MP. Cole Anthony unable to get his last shot to go in. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Isaac with the steal. This is to Howard. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. Quickly the pass to Finney Smith. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Anthony. Well, with his scoring ability, MP is a challenging defensive assignment for anybody trying to guard him. Black's checked in for Cole Anthony. Hart, he's checked in for New York. Orlando's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Black the pass to Isaac. There's the three. Knicks with the rebound. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Now here's Howard. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. On the wing, Isaac. Over Hart. They shoot again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Julius Randle picks one up. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for New York. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. 
Well, we've also seen them being very aggressive down in the paint. All game long, they've been hunting down those inside points. Clearly a foul. New York shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And so crucial for Hart to get to the line, establish some confidence. He's solid from there. I think it sometimes gets his perimeter game going. Like the pass to Isaac. One fifteen left here in the third quarter. Here's Black. Once again off the mark, Orlando. New York's gone four six from outside the arc tonight, and MP throws it down. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Here are the Magic now, following the score by New York. Peterson the pass to Oubre. Now the pass to Howard. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. Them. Now many people say officiating favors the offense. Uh, Brent, do you agree with that? <laughs> Absolutely. That's what this game is about. It's about scoring. And so there aren't many rule changes that are going to stop guys from being as potent as they've been offensively, especially over the last couple years. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. On the court for the Knicks. MP out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then there's Dorian Finney-Smith. Then it's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Hart in at the three spot. Oubre, Robinson with the block. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. And the Magic making a change here. Black's checked in. Four on the clock. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Count that one from Isaac. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. All oh, the officials are all over that one. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Orlando's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Howard drives in again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Isaac outside. Howard with it. He kicks it to Black. Six on the shot clock. Howard, the pass to Isaac. Gritty defender, heart making those skills known on that possession. A nice shot by Black. They cashed in on a lot of second chance opportunities here in the second half. That extra effort will help them cut into this deficit. MP outside. And another assist. 25 assists. What an unselfish performance. He has been a sensational playmaker. Black dishes to Carter. We've seen players criticized for skipping their media obligations after tough losses, Greg. How egregious is that in, in your opinion? Well, you know, they say the true test of character is how you respond to when things aren't going your way. So for me, it's important to be accountable in those tough moments. And I don't know if there's somebody on the roster that's going to slow down Robinson right now. On the wing, Isaac. Carter on the wing, guarded by Robinson. Tipped away. Passes it to Finney Smith. MP with it. And now Orlando on the break. A nice shot by Black. Here's MP. Inside and finished off by Robinson. Robinson is very fluid as a big, and he comes off that pick ready to shoot. 
And for the Magic, they're shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. Carter outside. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Third personal foul. And that one misses. Mo Wagner's checked in for Orlando. The Knicks also changing it up. Julius Randle comes in for Robinson. And Monks subbed in for Josh Hart. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. Throws it up high. Another possession, another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammate. Lack the pass to Wagner. Can't connect from short range. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests and that's just enough. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Knicks. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win, a, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season and continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats, just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for MP. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. Jalen Suggs has checked in for the match. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. Yeah, appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Wagner passes to Isaac. Lock at six. From deep. Craps in the tray. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Thirteen feet away, and Orlando again with the bucket. And Isaac has proven to be more than capable with his mid-range jump shot. He keeps it up high in the air so the defense doesn't really have a chance to disrupt his rhythm. Quickly kicks to Randall to the paint. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That free throw missing. At the line for the Knicks. MP. And the second free throw, good. And here is Howard. So no problem for New York as they get the win. The to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for...